Today we are at the Thames Valley Viaduct in Aylesbury. Uh, behind us you can see the, the first beams being installed for this viaduct. The Thames Valley Viaduct is a 880 meter long viaduct which is formed by 68 precast piers, two piers in situ, and then 72 precast beams that will form part of the deck, which will then be completed by precast planks and a cast in situ slab on top. This viaduct is uh, unique and it's an innovative solution because its major elements are all uh, precast. We've got the, the, the piers, we slot them into the, the pile cups like a giant Lego set. We then have the, the two uh, precast beams uh, that are coming from our supplier uh, from Thamesport. We started installing piers in mid-May. 38 uh, units have been installed uh, and we started installing the beams in mid-October and we, we have completed uh, three beams and today we'll be lifting the fourth. The overall activity between bringing the beam into position, connect all the lifting points, it takes around two to three hours. There's obviously then a lot of uh, setting out to be done to make sure that the beam is in its right position. So I've been um, developing the um, technical standards and the specifications specifically for this type of form of construction. It's something that is used a lot in Europe already, um, so some of our Spanish supply chain have uh, brought over the technology. But what's exciting about this, uh, this approach um, is that it is, it is new really to the UK, certainly on this scale. Certainly all of the, all of the main elements of the bridge out of the ground are, are precast. Um, and the beauty of the modular approach is that it allows us to uh, speed up construction reduce the number of, of operatives on site um, and therefore reduce the amount of disruption to the, to the local area. There is also a, a, a huge carbon saving um, in this form of technology. Um, we've reduced the numbers of beams um, from typically sort of four or six um, per span to, to only two. Um, and it means that the materials are much more efficient and you're using them in a much more uh, efficient manner structurally. Um, so you need less of them. Less, less material means less carbon. Um, less carbon means um, closer to net zero means um, yeah, better for the environment all around. This is a huge milestone for our team. I'm immensely proud of uh, the work that we have achieved so far.